and welcome to this introduction to Acoustica, the powerful cross-platform audio editor from Acon Digital. Acoustica is ideal for post-production, mastering or restoration work and can be linked as an external editor from your DAW, perhaps to make use of the noise reduction or spectral editing features. All the standard editing features are available and easy to use, including time stretching, with optional automatic de-clicking to smooth out any discontinuities in your edits. Notice that Acoustica displays the true shape of the analog waveform when zoomed in tight, unlike most editors that just join the dots with straight lines. For those working in post-production, Acoustica Premium Edition can edit and save audio in surround formats with up to 7.1 channels, while EBU R128 and ITU BS1770 compliant metering makes it easy to conform to modern broadcast standards. Find the emission source and destroy it. You can also normalize files using the new loudness standards, as well as the more normal peak or RMS option. Good loudness metering is also essential if you're mastering from modern streaming platforms, which all now use loudness normalization of some kind. Metering options also include a spectrum analyzer, and a goniometer for checking stereo phase. And these can all be resized, or rearranged, or stacked up in tabbed panels. Your mastering chain can include third-party plugins in VST, VST3, or AU formats. But Acoustica also includes a comprehensive set of built-in tools, including a powerful EQ with up to 12 bands, which allows you to control the slope of each band, as well as the bandwidth allowing for unusual curve shapes not possible with most EQs. And which gives you continuous control over the slopes of your high and low pass filters, from a super gentle 3 dB per octave, right up to a super surgical 120 dB. Acoustica also provides a very flexible dynamics processor, capable of a wide range of different compression styles or a multi-band version with a dynamics processor for each band and full control over crossover frequencies and filter slopes. You can finish off your chain with look-ahead brick wall limiting and noise-shaped div. Unwanted noises such as clicks or crackles can be removed automatically using the award-winning restoration tools. You can select specific parts of the file for de-clicking. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, and can audition oh yeah. just the clicks you're removing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Before actually applying your processing. If your noise floor is too high, they figure you for a quick buck, man. You can analyse a section of just the noise, then clean it up automatically with the noise reduction tool. They figure you for a quick buck, man. And if they thought you could make a big bundle for them, they'd throw you right back in the sewer where you came out of. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, now, don't I? Those of you using these features to clean up vinyl noise and crackle might also be interested in the Phono filter, which provides accurate RIAAD emphasis filtering, with presets for a range of other standards as well. Spectral editing can be very useful when we need to clean up more problematic noises, like this rogue bang in the intro to a Little Robot song. Let's hear that again. And I'll switch to the spectrogram display mode, available in the premium edition of Acoustica, which shows up that noise quite clearly. I'll choose the time and frequency rectangle selection mode and draw a box around the noise. And I can now press the spacebar to audition just that noise and refine my selection if needed. Next, I'll enable the retouch tool, then hold control and point my mouse cursor at a different section of the file to use as a reference. And then click the process button. And that noise is now pretty much gone. We have a variety of ways to select the audio that needs correcting. The time selection mode is great for dealing with broadband noises like clicks or bangs. You were there in 
while frequency selection allows you to deal with a constant whine from an air conditioning unit, for example. If you hold Alt, you can roll your mouse wheel to add harmonics. And you can then pick a reference region from a higher or lower frequency band instead of a different part of the file. Let's undo our earlier edit and try the freehand selection mode, which allows us to draw around the unwanted noise to select it. Or we could try the paintbrush tool with a choice of different brush sizes. If you hold the Alt key, you can add to your previous selection instead of replacing it. So I can add those two transient hits to the main body of the noise. And very precisely select just the noise element for processing. Let's once again hold Ctrl and point to a similar section with no noise to use as a reference. And click Process to remove the noise again. Acoustica also provides a multi-track editor for stem mastering or mixing duties. You can create as many tracks as you like, each with automatable volume, pan and aux send control. Audio can be recorded from your interface or imported, and you can trim or stretch clips on the timeline, and group clips for easy multi-track editing. Each track can have its own plugin chain, which can include third-party plugins, as well as the built-in processes like EQ or Dynamics, which can also do expansion or gating if you turn the ratio down below 1 to 1. This song was recorded live at Abbey Road in the famous Studio 2, but the drums and percussion were isolated in the booths and sound very dry as a result. So let's send them to the AUX bus where I've loaded some reverb. Acoustica provides a Convolve processor with a range of reverb impulses included. And the ability to load your own, including true stereo impulses with two separate files. Alternatively, try the acclaimed Verberate algorithmic reverb with full control over both early and late reverb stages. Plus a graphical decay time editor and output EQ and filtering. As the AUX bus provides another entire FX chain, you're free to process the reverb wet signal with other effects, such as compressors. The batch processor can save you lots of time if you have a large number of files that all need processing the same way. You can import files individually or by folder, or just drag them in from Explorer or Finder. And you can create a list of processes, including any of the built-in tools, such as loudness normalizing, or de-clicking, or any of your third-party plugins. And save in a range of different formats, with high-quality sample rate conversion if required. If you don't need surround sound support or spectral editing, you may want to consider the standard edition of Acoustica, which provides all the essential stereo editing features, plus powerful restoration tools in a very affordable package. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.